Data Bank, commence recording. This is General Straker of the World Security Service. In the 1980s, I was the commander of Shadow during the war with an unknown alien race. Today, the new alien menace is combated by Earth Defense Squadron, codenamed Terrahawks. In this briefing, I'll be discussing the role and function of the Terrahawks Orbital Battle Station, Spacehawk. Spacehawk's primary purpose is to act as Earth's first line of defense against the new android threat from Mars. At a colossal 1,600 feet in length, the battle station dwarfs practically every other space vessel in Earth's fleet. Spacehawk usually remains positioned in geostationary Earth orbit, ready to counter an attack from Mars. However, if the need arises, it can travel anywhere in our solar system using its dilithium-powered Latheral nuclear pulse drive. This revolutionary system provides a top speed of 2.4 million feet per second, allowing the craft to reach other planets relatively quickly. Spacehawk's offensive arsenal is formidable to say the least. 100 space zeroids are positioned in a series of attack arrays along the hull of the station. The space zeroids can be directed individually, in small groups, or as an entire force. Their combined firepower is devastating, and a vital part of Spacehawk's continued operation rests with the controller of the Space Zeroids, Space Sergeant 101. 101 directs many of Spacehawk's functions under the watchful eye of Lieutenant Hero, the Terrahawk's electronics expert. The Space Sergeant also controls the rest of Space Hawk's weaponry, including a high-output Abrams Bag Energy turret, which provides additional firepower and can be operated in continuous streams or short bursts. Space Hawk's remarkable offensive technology is in effect its greatest defense, but the vessel is far from exposed without it. An energy deflector shield can be extended to cover the entirety of the craft's hull, protecting it from the majority of high-energy assault weapons. The hull is constructed from reinforced adlamantium plating and can survive a tremendous amount of punishment without sustaining critical damage. While in geostationary orbit, Spacehawk spins on its axis to provide artificial gravity, approximating the conditions on Earth and allowing Lieutenant Hero to move around the interior with ease. The primary link between Space Hawk and Hawk Nest is the small single stage to orbit shuttlecraft, Treehawk. Treehawk is 80 feet long and remains on standby in its silo at Hawk Nest when it is not docked in Space Hawk's hangar bay. When the launch command is given, the huge artificial tree above the shuttle's silo splits open to reveal the launch bay. Treehawk fires its Alaphon chemical boosters and soars into the air, bound for Spacehawk. The shuttle's maximum velocity in space is 3.6 million feet per second, and it can reach any region in the solar system thanks to the highly efficient trinitrosol fuel it carries. When returning to Earth, Treehawk functions like a regular aircraft deploying aerofoils and using atmospheric ramjets for conventional flight. While flying in Earth's atmosphere, Treehawk is able to reach a maximum velocity of Mach 0.9. Although it's not as heavily armed as Spacehawk, Treehawk is equipped with a twin laser cannon and is more than capable of defending itself against small enemy fighter craft. Aside from Treehawk, Spacehawk's vast hangar bay is home to a variety of other small craft. One such vessel is the Martian Exploration Vehicle, or MEV. The MEV is a small craft designed for scouting rough terrain on planetary surfaces. It is launched directly from Space Hawk and touches down on the target planet using a powerful descent thruster. The MEV is equipped with a grappling arm and multi-purpose cannon. Spacehawk's remaining auxiliary craft include Hawklet, 
a small shuttle used to ferry personnel between larger spacecraft, and Tomahawk, a recently developed prototype rapid attack space fighter. Space Hawk remains Earth's first line of defense against the present Martian threat, and the World Security Service is confident that it is a conflict the Earth will win. Well, that concludes this series of technical briefings. Thank you for your attention, and I hope you found the information fascinating as well as useful. Until next time, thank you for your attention. Data Bank sees recording. Top secret. Subject. International rescue. Our equipment is way ahead of its time. In the wrong hands, it could be utilized to destroy life, not to preserve it.